What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and let's get right into the news. Today's very interesting bug found on Firefox for Android only. This is not a bug in iOS. This is Android only and if it's Firefox only. And it's a very interesting bug. Let me show you. Here's a video. And essentially, if you have Firefox just running, even if it's minimized, then you are, and you are in this particular Firefox version, then you are vulnerable to this bug. So what, what an attacker can do, if they are on the same network, that means they are on the same Wi-Fi, they can inject any code or any URL, and it will be basically broadcasted to all Firefox Android devices and that code will be executed as a result. So this is called the Android intent, right? Where, where uh, basically you can uh, you can execute, you know, when, when you get prompted, oh, do you want to open this in TikTok or you open this in Twitter, right? This is called an intent, right? Where it's a special protocol for Android where it can, the, 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 the device determine what application to run as a result. URL versus an app versus uh, media, whatever, right? So watch this. So this is the attacker server here that he hosted. And just like that, he ran one command and he was able to push evil.com website on all of those devices. So how about we jump into it and, and talk about how this works actually, right? So again, you're only vulnerable if you're on the same LAN with an attacker. So let's explain how things work. There's this thing that I, I just heard about actually from this article. It's called SSDP, which is called Simple Service Discovery Protocol. It's a UDP slash HTTP protocol that devices use to broadcast using UDP on a network to, to essentially ask for what is services, what are the services that are on the network? You might say, I'm saying, what kind of services are we, what, what are we doing here? Remember, when you open the browser, the Firefox, you have option to stream to TV or stream or open this web page on, on an Xbox or PlayStation. These are called services, right? And, and, and to detect those services, those uh, each servers, a PlayStation or LG TV or, 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 or your Xbox will, will be acting as a SSDP server, listening for these messages, right? So Firefox is basically sending these searches through UDB multicast and anyone in the same network would get this message. And if it was an SSDP server, it will reply back with, with an XML file detailing the service uh, instruction and metadata, right? This is called uh, using the universal plug and pray, <laughs> as Steve Gibson calls it. This is a very dangerous uh, protocol if, you, if misused, right? So, <laughs> so this is what's going on, guys. So what's happening here is in the is, is the PlayStation will reply with that and say, okay, this is my service. You can use me as, as, a, as a streaming uh, casting. You can cast your screen there. Or uh, the TV kit does the same thing. PlayStation does the same thing, right? So you can stream that stuff. What the bug was, if the attacker spin up their own SSDP server, listening on the same port, I think it's called 1900, Right, if I'm not, yeah, exactly, port 1900. If the attacker was able to spin up a server, SSDP server, and listen on port 1900, they can reply instead of that file that tells you this is a service, it will reply with an Android intent, right? Telling you that, hey, intent slash slash open blah, which is, which is not a valid. Uh, XML file obviously the bug was and the wiki actually explained it better here the bug was an, an, an improper validation of that payload that comes back of the SSDP server the, the Firefox Android was receiving that message and it says oh 
It's an intent. It's asking me to open this website. Sure, let me do it. Oh, it's asking me to open, to, to delete this file or open this file. You can't, I don't, I don't think I can delete. Maybe if there is an app that actually exists that does that task, then he will be able or they will be able to actually execute that. So whatever is the intent, it will be immediately executed, which is so bad, right? So let's read this this blurb here in Wikipedia. Firefox for Android uh, version 79 did not properly validate the schema of the URL received by the SSDP, which is the, the schema we talked about, the URL. And were vulnerable for remote code execution. An attacker on the same network could create a malicious server pretending to, to be a device supporting casting. Right, which is the, the casting we talked about, the project. But instead of a configuration file, which which is the XML, it will return an intent, slash slash, URL. Firefox would launch the intent, just immediately, magically launch the intent, right? If it was supported by the device, if that intent supported by the device. So if the intent was to open a Twitter, it will open a Twitter. If the intent was to open TikTok, it will open TikTok. If the intent was to, to, to go to the videos, it will do that thing right and it will just do that stuff and it will execute arbitrary code so now yeah if if the intent you can execute an intent to execute twitter and to tweet something if twitter supports it, i think it does then you can do that with just one click and you don't have to do any of this bug is very dangerous because just opening firefox you are vulnerable Especially if you connect to a, uh, a Wi-Fi on Starbucks. Oh my God. I can just basically act as a server and then distribute this message. And then if you have Android and you have that buggy version of Firefox, I can push my intent onto all the devices. It's, it's, it's a multicast thing, dude. Because every Firefox, Android always beam right this messages ssdp is just continuous right and it's a multicast to all network so if that server is in the same network it will reply back with that and if the firefox android doesn't parse it then you are vulnerable of this here's a here's another attack over wi-fi zero interaction you're right no man in the middle correct it's 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 nothing it's very, very dangerous. See, so he just opened Firefox and he's going there. And by the way, the code is all available. He gets show you. Yeah, look, look at this shit. Look at this stuff. He just, he just opened the phone book because it's an intent. There is an intent to open phone, right? To open the phone. 1337, elite. Oh, I like that. And then he goes back to Firefox and what does he do? What does he do next? Let's see what he does next. Open Firefox again. He, the intent is to open a Giphy, yeah, in this case, to open a, a page, right? HTTP, the scheme, the pro package, and all that stuff. And what does this do? It should open a Giphy page, which is like hacker man. <laughs> this is pretty neat, man. I got to tell you. He has the source code here. Obviously, he did the right job. Uh, Chris Moberly, I think he's he was the one who found it. Chris Moberly, yes. So he did a good job. He, he actually notified Mozilla first to fix the bug before making it public. Obviously, that's the right way to do things. Right? You can't just post a zero day and, 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 and um, kind of uh, throw, throw the creators under the bus. That's not good. So yeah, I was actually I was surprised about this product. I never heard about it before. It's using HTTP. It's a weird version of HTTP. Yeah, it's called HTTP, UHTTP, which is very odd. HTTPU, what the hell is HTTPU? I know the page points to, 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 to universal plug and pray. All right, guys, I'm not gonna make a video longer than than it should, but it tells you like how how vulnerable we are. We're using all these services, we're using all, all these things that we don't know how how it works, but just 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 something like that yes. can be really really dangerous if we don't know what we're doing i don't know if other browsers are, are 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 a problem with that but these bugs you cannot discover it in code review 
it's very hard to, to discover this kind of bugs in code review unless you're very adept in security and you're also a code reviewer. Then you say, okay, you're taking the payload immediately and just shoving it to the to the operating system. You need to verify that. So it's just very interesting. This these these bugs, right? It's just nobody can think about all this stuff, right? It's just yeah, how can you anticipate all that stuff? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.